Hi, I'm Rob Shaw at uh, Mountain Athlete, and I want to explain some of the changes I've recently made to my base fitness programming for Mountain Athletes. We'll just uh, start with the whiteboard lesson here. In general, the further you are away from an event or a season, the more sport specific your programming should be. So an event could be a ski week in Jackson, or it could be a summit push for um, the Grand Teton, or it could be a desert climbing trip during the spring. In general, the closer you get to that event, the more support specific your programming should be. This area back here is what I call base fitness. This training can be more general. You've probably seen this before. This is my fitness mountain. And in the bottom down here is base fitness. Here is sport specific. If I was to take this chart and kind of turn it up on its edge, it would be like this. This is where you start your sport specific cycle. And this would be base. I've made a couple changes to our base fitness programming. First of all, there's been a shift and evolution away from so much weight room based strength and work capacity towards more mountain specific endurance, specifically running, hiking, step ups, those type of activities. What I've realized or, or caught my current thinking is that just many of these sports, mountain sports have a strong endurance component. And in the past, we weren't given enough time to endurance. So our specific sport or base fitness programming, I've combined strength and work capacity. We also train endurance. And I've created an endurance training cycle, and then also climbing and durability. The way this works is as we work through the space fitness prior to the sports season, we rotate through cycles which have an emphasis in each of these three areas. We don't have a durability specific cycle. We train durability during all of our cycles. It's kind of consistent through all the programming but we do have cycles with this type of emphasis. So that's been the first change, is we've had a shift away from so much strength of combining these in the same cycle towards endurance. As well, I've made climbing, I've given climbing its, its own base fitness cycle. One of the things I've also realized is that climbing fitness is so focused on grip and forearm strength that if you get too far from it, if you have to go climb, you're gonna peel off the rock. You just can't hold on anymore. So we need to do more climbing in our programming. That's one of the reasons we program on our base fitness now to be completed in a rock gym with a general fitness area because there's gonna be climbing sessions involved. Um, another change I've made is in the past, these cycle used to be three weeks long. I've made them longer now, six weeks. So the base fitness cycles now are six weeks. One of the things that's important to understand as is you're working through base fitness, it's not like during a base fitness climbing cycle that all you do is climb. You're also gonna be doing some endurance. You're also gonna be doing some general strength and work capacity in the gym. So, this idea or this periodization model that we used in the base fitness cycles is what I call fluid periodization. And it's the way that we can train these different elements simultaneously, strength and work capacity, endurance and climbing and durability, but with cyclic emphasis. So during an endurance cycle, for example, there's an emphasis on endurance. A six week cycle, for mountain athletes, I generally like to train either four or five days a week. Let's just assume four days a week. 
is going to equal um, six times four, um, 24 training sessions total. And if I was to take these 24 training sessions and break them up into eight session blocks, this is how the ratios would run. A cycle type, endurance, strength, and work capacity, climbing, and this is the number of endurance sessions. This is the number of uh, strength, the number of work capacity, and the number of climbing. So what you can see here is in a base fitness cycle and has an endurance focus, we're still training work capacity and strength and climbing, but four of every eight sessions are going to be endurance. And you kind of see how this works through a strength and work capacity cycle, five of every eight are going to be strength and work capacity focused, a climbing cycle four of every eight are going to be climbing focused. In general, the way to use the programming for us is if you think about your seasons, for example, let's say that this is, uh, I'll come down here and do it. <laughs> I start the, uh, I'll give it an uh, example that we're using right now. We started our free skis team training on June 15th, and they're doing a base fitness cycle right now for my free ski team. In mid-October, we will shift from general base fitness to sport-specific dry land training to get them ready for the ski area opening on December 1. It'll be a seven or eight week cycle, or six or seven week cycle. So the idea is to use base fitness training to establish the base in the fitness mountain and then layer on top of that support specific before you run into the actual season. If you have any questions, please email me, just rob at mountainathlete.com. Thanks.